Well, today we are closing out Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. It is one of the deadliest forms of cancer and early detection is key in the fight against it. Dr. Philip Phillip is with us right now from the Carmanos Cancer Institute. He is the leader of the gastrointestinal and neuroendocrine oncology multidisciplinary team. Quite a title. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So we know that pancreatic cancer is a deadly one, and we were reminded of that not long ago with the high profile death of Alex Trebek. Talk to us about this disease. I mean, what is it that makes it the third deadliest cancer? The, ma the major thing that I want to really uh, point out to you is that we are in fact uh, making the outcome of pancreatic cancer better. So if you look at the statistics, we are seeing people um, living longer with it and also some patients getting cured of it. So we are doing much better than we did like 25 years ago when I first came to Detroit. The key thing about the pancreatic cancer that makes it different than other cancers is that many patients who are diagnosed are diagnosed late in the disease, the more advanced stage of the disease. And in those patients, curative treatment will not be possible. And a curative treatment here would be removing the pancreatic tumor with part of the pancreas. Unless you diagnose a disease at a stage where it's only in the pancreas that has, hasn't spread to anywhere else, you cannot cure the cancer. And that's really where we are. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the early diagnosis is really very important. Yeah. And let's talk about the early diagnosis. I mean, what are some of the signs or symptoms of pancreatic cancer? Because I know the fear is that by the time you see a symptom, it's already too late. Is that always the case? Or are there symptoms that should make you say, hey, I need to go see a doctor? It, it's not always the case. In fact, there are some symptoms that may direct you to see a doctor for an earlier detection. One of them will be abdominal discomfort, unexplained abdominal uh, uh, pain or discomfort. Uh, patients who have like uh, uh, weight loss, uh, patients who develop jaundice, which is manifested by the uh, yellow uh, staining of the sclera of the eyes or the eyes and also having dark urine. Uh, sometimes, uh, believe it or not, there is another condition that may indicate the presence of pancreatic cancer and that's diabetes, new onset diabetes, and someone who is unexpected to have it, that will be another indication that the patient may have uh, pancreatic cancer. So all these things really indicate that you really have to discuss abnormal symptoms or anything new, which is different in your body. And you have, you, have, you have to know your body very well. You have to discuss anything which is not right for you with the with, with, with a family doc doctor or, or a primary care provider. Right, because what's normal for you is maybe not normal for somebody else. So you just have to know your body. Tell exactly. me, because we're running out of time and I wanna make sure you touch on this, what developments are out there to treat this that maybe give you some hope? Well, the, the developments which we have now is really because we understand the pancreatic cancer much better. The, we call it the biology or the molecular structure of the disease. And with that in mind, we now have more treatments that we call them targeted therapies. So for example, there are uh, treatments that are targeting an abnormal metabolism in the cancer cell that is different than the normal cell. More recently, we've been working on things like immunotherapy, trying to bolster the body's defense, the lymphocytes, the T cell, the killer cells against the cancer cell. There are some uh, interesting cocktails that have been developed in that uh, perspective. So really there's a lot which is going on, which takes me to the point of clinical trials. Yeah. Clinical trials are really very important. And one of the challenges we have in this country is that most patients do not end up getting into a clinical trial. If you think of how we're, how we're overcoming COVID, hopefully within the next months or a year, is because of a clinical trial that led to the discovery of a new agent. And that's really what we need to do with patients. Indeed. And also problem. just, you know, getting people to go to the doctor amidst the pandemic. I know there's a lot of fear of just going to the doctor's office, but that's a big hurdle we need to get over because uh, we need to get checked out. Dr. Philip Phillip, thank you so much for your time and, and really highlighting a, a critical uh, disease that uh, we want to continue to fight very hard against. I appreciate your time. Allie. Thank you.